We'll go ahead and get started. Again, my name is Stan Wagnon, Commissioner of the Lone Star Conference. And uh, again, we're so glad that you've joined us here today as we uh, hear about the upcoming season for football. We will uh, introduce you to the preseason player of the year picks. And we will take a look at the uh, uh, preseason polls, not only for football, but also volleyball, men's and women's soccer, men's and women's cross country. And so we're obviously excited about uh, what the 2011 season holds for Lone Star Conference athletic teams. Uh, before we get started, I do want to take a moment to thank a few people. Uh, uh, start with my staff. Uh, I've got several people on my staff that have worked uh, long and hard to make sure this event is a, a success. And that starts with our Assistant Commissioner for Media Relations, which is Melanie Rabotham. Uh, we've got Assistant Commissioner uh, for Compliance, Jay Perner, in the back. Uh, our newest employee, Assistant Commissioner for Marketing and Broadcasting, is Travis Whipple, uh, back in the back corner. And then an associate that works with us here from the American Southwest Conference from time to time, Greg Weghorst, is here to help us. And then in the back in the red shirt is uh, our summer intern who also happens to be a football player at Abilene Christian, and that's David Pillen. And so uh, these folks have, have, have worked long and hard to make this day a success. And I also want to recognize the sports information directors at our 11, our 11 member institutions as uh, obviously they have a great deal of preparation that goes into a day like this uh, and to get ready for the seasons and to do everything they can to help you as media members uh, cover their programs and so we certainly appreciate our sports information directors and I believe we have three or four uh, Lone Star Conference athletic directors in attendance today and as always we'd like to thank you for your support and oversight of the athletic programs here and then I guess ultimately I, I want to say thank you to the media members who have chosen to spend the afternoon with us we certainly appreciate the coverage that you provide to our athletic teams and uh, this event I believe this is the fifth year in a row that we've kind of brought this event back. We started it uh, back up on an annual cycle in 2007 right here at this very property and have kind of moved around and, and throughout Dallas and San Antonio and here we are again. But uh, to our media, certainly we appreciate the coverage you provide to the conference and, and let us know if there's anything we can do to make your job easier. Uh, if you'll allow me, I want to say just a few things. Obviously, uh, the Lone Star Conference is coming off an historic year. Uh, we've had significant membership change. You know, last year at this event, we talked about 16 member schools. We talked about 14 football programs. And today I stand before you with 11 member schools and nine football programs. And while we might have lesser quantity, I can assure you that uh, we have every bit as much quality in the Lone Star Conference as we've ever had. We're certainly excited about the future of the conference. Uh, we like this new look the more streamlined membership, and throughout this past year, uh, as these discussions have evolved, um, we have renewed our focus as a conference on presenting United Front and on being uh, Lone Star Conference members, you know, rather than just individual institutions. And so, in doing that, we've identified uh, six organizational values that we feel like uh, will help actually have played a role in defining who we are as a group and we also feel like uh, these values are things that uh, our coaches and student athletes their actions will be guided by these values uh, we feel like our administrators and our officials their decisions are based on these values and then ultimately we feel like as a conference we need to tell our story uh, using these values as our guide and so uh, you can see the, the six values. And these are the things that, that mean the most to the Lone Star Conference. And you're going to be hearing more and more about these as we go forward and uh, tell our story of, of who we are in the Lone Star Conference. Uh, you know, and speaking of telling our story, uh, you know, I, I, I firmly believe the Lone Star Conference is unlike any other conference. You know, we're unique. And we have a proud past. We've got an even brighter future. And you know, I think over this past year, we have recognized that it's time for us to embrace our heritage. It's time that we emphasize the values that help define us. And it's time for us to go out and tell our story about who we are. And so as you came in the doors today, uh, we handed you a gift, which was a briefcase. And underneath that LSC logo, there was a tagline that says, we're the one. And that's a statement that you're going to see the conference use as we move forward. And really, all we're trying to do is tell our story. And so as it relates to those values, if you're talking about commitment, 
we're the one that's committed to providing our student athletes with a superior experience. That's why here in a few minutes you're going to hear us talk about we're bringing Division II football to Cowboys Stadium on September 17th. We're committed to making sure that our student athletes get the best experience possible. You talk about tradition, we're the one with 74 Division II national championships since 1982. We're the one producing more NFL talent than any small college conference in the country. You want to talk about academic excellence? We're the one that as a group provides more than $19 million a year in athletic financial aid to help student athletes get an education. And we're the one that since 1990 has produced 263 academic All-Americans. And so uh, I hope you can begin to see uh, what the significance of we're the one is and how it's going to fit into the framework of, of these six values in telling our story. And, and our 11 institutions are on board with telling their story within this framework as well. And so, as I said, we're excited about the Lone Star Conference and the path that it's on and uh, couldn't be any happier with the nine football programs that are represented today and, and the 11 member institutions that we have. Um, these institutions have recognized over the last year that it's important to invest in the conference and to do so in a way that helps the overall university. And so I alluded to the Lone Star Football Festival. That is one event where you can kind of see that play out. We are very intentional about using that event to gain visibility for the conference and specifically for the member institutions. Um, in another example of that is not this season, but the next. We have partnered with the Gulf South Conference uh, to form the First in Ten Challenge, which will essentially provide Division II football with ten of the best non-conference matchups you'll ever find. They've obviously got some great football programs in the Gulf South. We feel very strongly about the football that we play in the Lone Star Conference and you're going to see those two conferences collide 2012 and 2013 in the first and 10 challenge and we're excited about that. Uh, but, but getting back to this year, certainly there's plenty of reasons uh, for us to be energetic and excited going into the 2011 football season. Uh, the Lone Star Football Festival being the, the, the marquee event for us uh, at Cowboys Stadium, which is obviously the, the best football stadium in the world just hosted the Super Bowl, and so we're really pleased that our student athletes and coaches will get to take that grand stage and put our product on display uh, for all of our fans and alums here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Uh, that event itself, you can see the game times and the matchups. Uh, there's six teams involved. Four of them made it to the playoffs last year for Division II, and four of them enter the season nationally ranked. And so it's going to be a great day of football, and uh, certainly those media members that are here, we, we appreciate any coverage you can give us leading up to it and uh, look forward to hosting you at, at the finest stadium in the world for, for what we think is going to be a great event. Um, as the season ends, we will be participating in our uh, third uh, Kansas Bowl, which is uh, the bowl that features the best LSC team that does not make the Division II playoffs against the best MIAA team that does not make the playoffs. And again, this is a, a kind of a showpiece for Division II football uh, between two of the better conferences in the country. It'll be in Topeka, Kansas. And as you can notice from the screen here, we do have a new format. And instead of waiting until the first Saturday of December, this year's game will be played the Sunday after Thanksgiving. And so a little bit different timing, uh, but certainly we're excited about uh, being partners with the MIAA in the Kansas Bowl again this year. So at this time, what I'd like to do is uh, announce for you the preseason Player of the Year awards for football, and then we'll go and announce the preseason poll as picked by the head coaches and the sports information directors and media representatives throughout the conference. And then at that point, I'll take a break and sit down and let each of the coaches of our football programs get up here and tell you a little bit about what to expect from their team this year. So starting with the preseason player of the year awards in the sport of football, the 2011 preseason offensive player of the year for the Lone Star Conference is Abilene Christian quarterback Mitchell Gale. Mitchell Gale is a 6'2", 220 pound junior from Alva, Oklahoma. 38 touchdown passes last year, 3,595 passing yards. Uh, Mitchell Gale is the Offensive Player of the Year for the preseason. On the defensive side of the ball, also from Abilene Christian, it's Aston Whiteside. He's a 6'2", 260-pound senior from Vernon, Texas, 
And this is the second straight year he's picked up preseason honors. Last year he had seven sacks, two forced fumbles, and three block kicks. And so those are your preseason awards uh, for Lone Star Conference football. As we look to the preseason poll, um, I think we're going to have the teams come up. I'm going to pick up with number five. And picked fifth this year is Tarleton State with 104 points in the poll. Picked to finish fourth is Midwestern State. In the third spot is West Texas A&M, picked as the runner-up for 2011 with five first-place votes and 177 points is uh, Texas A&M Kingsville, and uh, the preseason favorite to repeat as Lone Star Conference champions after going a perfect 10-0 in conference play last year, the Abilene Christian Wildcats, uh, 17 first-place votes on 23 ballots and 201 points total.